How many text elements do you have on your page? Probably a lot, right? And styling all of them will take a lot of time and a lot of clicking and repeating the same action over and over again. But the thing is, it doesn't have to if you just follow this one principle. Hi, I'm Hanne from Thrive Teams and the principle I'm talking about is the outside in principle. The outside in principle means that when you want to apply the same styling to multiple elements, you apply the styling to the parent container of those elements. Now this sounds maybe a little bit complicated, but it most certainly is not. So let me show you how you would apply this on your pages. As you can see here, what I set up is a landing page with some different elements such as background sections, heading elements, so text elements, column elements. There's also a content box in here. And I want to show you how to apply the outside in principle on this page. So when we click on an element and we look at the breadcrumbs, you can see which containers are around this element. So here, when we click on this heading, we can see that it is wrapped in a background section and that that background section is part of the Thrive landing page. And that would be the very first container that we want to use to put styling on our elements. Because when you think about it, every heading on this page and every paragraph, we probably want it to be the same font and mostly also the same colors. So this is something that we can set up on landing page level, the font settings. So from here, let's go to page setup and then you can see landing page settings. And here we have our landing page text options. We can edit the page text and now we can change all the text. We can change all the headings or we can simply change heading by heading. Now, this is always the very first thing that you should do when you start from scratch or you, when you want to customize a template and you want to change the fonts on that page. You go to the page setup and then you can change the fonts for the entire page in just a few clicks. So let me do that now. Now, like I said, here you can change the fonts, but you can also change colors and sizes. And you can do this on desktop, on mobile and on tablet mode so that everything you set up here will look good on every screen. As you can see, these fonts have now been changed on the entire page and I didn't have to click on every heading separately to change them. Now, let me show you some other examples of this outside in principle. Here we can see that we have a dark background section, which means that every text element that we put on this background section, we would want it to be white. And the way to do that is to go to your background section in typography, we would change the color to white. Now, as you can see, this changed the heading to white that was already in the element, but also each time that you will add a new element in this background section, it will immediately get the right color. So again, this will save you a lot of time when you set this up. And this also means that when you want to change the color and maybe instead of making it white, you want to be make it some off white or something, or maybe you change the background color to be light and then you want the text to be dark again, you can do this in just one click. Now, another example of this outside in principle is when you want to use text alignment. In this section, we have several elements such as headings and then a text element and a column element. And we want everything in this section to be center aligned. If we do this separately, it will it would cost us about 14 clicks in order to get all of these elements center aligned. But if we do it on the parent container, which in this case would be our background section, we can do it in just one click. So select the background section because when we look here, the heading is inside of our background section and our element in here, for example, is inside a column, columns, and then in our background section. So now here we can make everything center aligned. 
And the reason why we want you to apply this outside in principle is that if you want to style something that is more inside of the parent container, you will be able to do that. So here, for example, we just used the background section to make everything center aligned, but now we want this text here. So this heading and this text element to be a different text color. And the way we would do this is by clicking again on this heading to see what are the containers that are surrounding this heading element. And then we can see that we have like this column element. So this column element is the surrounding the parent container for this text element and this heading. And here we can use the settings to make this a lighter font, for example. Now let's go into one last example. In this background section, I have this heading element and then we have different column elements. So this is like one, two, three different column elements. And then we have a content box in here. Now, if I want this heading to be center aligned, but I don't want everything within this background to be center aligned, the easiest way would be to think about what elements I want to style. In this case, actually only the heading element and then just click on this element and style it. And just like I showed you with the background sections and with the column element, the content box is one of those elements that is often used to apply styling. So here we have a content box and when we click on it, we can see that again, we have all the same styling options and we can center align this or right align this or whatever. And this will only apply to everything that is within this content box. Now, I hope you see how this outside in approach will save you a lot of time when you style your own pages, but this will also help you when you want to customize one of our landing page templates, because this is the exact principle that we apply on all of our landing page templates. So this means that if you want to change the fonts on a landing page, First, go to your page setup and change your fonts and your colors there. And then you can start applying styling to the background section and then maybe to other content containers such as column elements or content boxes. Let me know if you found this video helpful and if you have any questions, don't hesitate and leave them in the comments below.